Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for another weekly tip. And today's tip is actually about finding your listings on command. So in some cases, the listings may not automatically display under your My KWLS, but that doesn't mean that they're not actually active. All right, so I just want to give you a heads up on that. So sometimes the listings won't automatically sync with yourself, or maybe if you're co-listing, it could be listed under the other agent. But regardless, sometimes, you know, we'll hear from agents saying, oh, my listing's not on command quite yet, but it actually is. And that way you can start to use it for your ads. You can feature it on your website. You can actually use it for your landing pages. All right, so there's a bunch of different items that are accessible on here. So to find your listings, what you'll want to do from the command homepage, all right, is come over to your listing section over here on the left-hand side. And once again, if you can't view this at the bottom left, Make sure to just zoom out on your web browser and that'll allow you to access this immediately. All right, but we're going to click on that listing section on here. Here we go. And this is going to take us to the KWLS 2.0. All right, so you still have the KWLS over on my KW and now you have the 2.0 version over here. So as you can see, it's a listing sneak peek still. All right, you're now in the listing le or panel lab. Search across the U.S. and parts of Canada coming soon, create and edit. All right, so in this case, we can say, take me to KWLS 2.0. And once we do that, the first thing that's going to pop up on here is what you should see for all of your listings. All right, so in this case, this is going to be all the different listings that are actually accessible for this particular agent that have linked up on the My KWLS on here. All right, so I just want to give you a heads up on that. Now, if you're not seeing your listings on here, it's okay. All right, you can always click on the listing search option up at the top. And you can actually search to see if your listing is accessible on the back end of command. And more than likely it is. All right, so if I click on the little listing option on here, here we go. All right, and I'll say allow to use my location on here too. All right, then it'll automatically pull up with all those different listings that are pulling to the KWLS 2.0. All right, and what I usually do is I uncheck the search within the map. So that way I can search for pretty much anything and everything. If you notice, all the locations have changed on here now. It's not just Orlando. But then you can search by the property address. You can search by the MLS number, the KWLS ID. All right, so if I search by, you know, this MLS number, for instance. All right, then I can see it automatically popped up. All right, and the reason I wanted to show that, and I clicked on something over here, is here's the KWLS for this particular agent. All right, and we happen to have an active listing on here at 220 High Street. All right, so this way I can actually go through and see, all right, well, here's the actual listing that's on here. So even though it's not under the Buy KWLS section, all right, it's still accessible over here for me to search too. All right, so I just want to give you a heads up. That way you can access this immediately and we can see everything on here right away. All right. So that may have actually been this <laughs> one on here that was active. I should have used a different one on there. But regardless, I just chose one from the KWLS to search for. All right, but this way you can actually go through and search by the property address. You can search by the MLS number, the KWLS ID under that listing search. So even if it's not displaying under your My KWLS on here, you'll still be able to find it in the back end of the KWLS 2.0 more than likely. And remember, just uncheck that little search within the map option so you can search everywhere possible on here. So there you go. So that is your KDB command tip for the day. I almost forgot what to say right there. How many times have I done this? <laughs>